Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. Uh, we got a good show. We got our upset special, uh, Jorge Castaneda and Orlando Gonzalez. I guess you could tell how I'm going to bet, but I'm sure you how, how you're going to make money on tomorrow's uh, Wednesday's Pro Box TV fight. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single fight. He gives you an upset. He gives you a lock of the week. He shows you how to make money consistently on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble. But if – and we use DraftKings. Um, you can't even use DraftKings if you live in Texas. Uh, but if you do gamble on sports and you do gamble on boxing, I'm going to show you consistently how to make a additional – source of income, have, have another stream of income uh, gambling on boxers. They don't know how to make odds. They don't know how to, the, the boxing odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Um, so let's get into today's show. Pro Box TV has been phenomenal. Um, it, it basically does what Showbox does. Gives you good fights. <clears throat> good fighters in great fights. Uh, we, we got that. Orlando Gonzalez uh, versus Jorge Castaneda. We can we can dub this kind of Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Um, I, I've followed Jorge Castaneda's entire career. Um, he's from Laredo, Texas. I, I, I know him extremely well. Um, he's upset. Oh, the Jones. Um, he he's upset. Um, Yosef Kamari, um, and then he got knocked out by Eduardo Hernandez, Rocky Hernandez. Who look, he got knocked out in the first round. So you you, you don't ever want that. But you know he got caught with something big. And, and, and Rocky Hernandez is, is a guy that was just thirty seconds away or so from winning a world title uh, with Oshaki Foster. So it's no slouch there. Um, he's, he's a devastating puncher. He, he caught Castaneda early in that fight, and that was the end of it. Um, he, and then he, he came on and he beat an undefeated guy named Nesta Medellin. Um, that was with a sensational eighth round knockout. If you go to Texas Boxing, you see I, I have the fight uploaded. You can watch the fight in its entirety. Um, but Castaneda is, is he, he's flawed. He's slow. He gets hit a lot too. Um, Orlando Gonzalez gets hit a lot. So this is going to be an explosive fight. It's going to be a fun fight. Uh, you know, they're going to question Castaneda's chin because he's been knocked out twice. No, kid's got a sturdy chin. Um, like I said, both guys get hit a lot. Um, so why do I like Castaneda in this fight? Well, he's the bigger hitter. He's super tall and rangy. Five foot ten, you know, uh, 130 pounder. He can make 126. Um, mm -hmm. in the, uh, Nesta Medellin fight, uh, he came in at 127. So, I mean, he, he can make 126. Um, he, he's a good offensive fighter. His, his footwork has gotten better. He's working with, uh, Ramon Chocolatillo Gonzalez, his trainer, Marcus, uh, Caballero. Um, the Medellin fight. Uh, was the first fight that he worked with him. This is, you know, like I said, this is a good offensive fighter. He, he, he mixes up head and body while he disguises his right hand. He throws his right hand from a, a, a range of angles. Uh, and they're going to consistently score with Orlando Gonzalez, who, who is susceptible to getting hit with power shots. Um, castaneda has got flaws. You know, he's slow. He's a little plodding. Um but he likes to be heavy off the front foot, but he can be pushed backwards. He's paper thin, uh, but he, he, you know he's got that wiry kid power. He he hits hard. Uh, he's got a good right hand. Uh, the left hook is good, and he uses his jab. You know he he he, he kind of fights tall in a sense that he uses his jab, but he, he he's a pressure fighter. He's gonna come forward. Uh, he, he throws in pretty good volume, right? Which a lot of tall fighters don't necessarily. Uh, he, he certainly does. He, he uses his height and reach pretty well. 
but what he is is functionally long. Like he can cut the ring off. He gets where he wants to go. He's really good at controlling distance. If he wants to keep you at arm's length, he can. If he wants to close the distance, like I said, he's long. He's tall for the division. He can cut the ring off on you um, and uh, force the fight inside. He's got good pop. Uh, he's got really good pop, actually. When he, when he works his jab, he, he, he can set up the right hand. As he throws these kind of right hand, three-quarter shots, interesting angles. He, he throws the right hand from, and, and, and they land, and they're awkward. Um, and he, he, he judges distance really, really well. Uh, that's something that Orlando Gonzalez doesn't do. If you go back and you watch the gonzalez Sassana fight um, on Pro Box back this summer, you can see – I thought that was the fight Orlando Gonzalez was lucky – to get the decision in, um, you know, he, 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 he should have losses to the center and, um, uh, the, the uh, Misaya Lopez, uh, that's who he lost to on a top rank card back about a year ago. Uh, he, he should really honestly have two losses in less than a year. Um, he, he got the decision over, Sasena, um, Puerto Rican fighter, trains in Florida, fighting in Kissimmee, Florida. He got the decision. Um, probably didn't deserve it. Close, close fight. Uh, and then he's also got a, a, a loss to a Robisi Ramirez. Um, no shame there. Like a loss to Robisi Ramirez is not much different than you know what Castaneda has. So both these guys with, with Rocky Hernandez, both these guys have been in with, with good competition. Um, like I said, he's susceptible to the left hook. Uh, he really, Gonzalez is really susceptible to the left hook. Go back and watch him. He's constantly getting hit with left hooks. And if you go back and, and you watch, you go to Texas Boxing and you watch Kessner's last fight, it's the left hook that he scores, a devastating left hook uh, that gets the knockout. Um, what's interesting about that is that he's a southpaw. Uh, so southpaw is usually get hit with the right hand. He gets hit with the left hook, which, which is which is interesting. Um, he, he's, 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 not he looks like he should be a pure boxer, Elena Gonzalez, but he's but he's not right. Like he likes to come, he can shoot shine, he throws, uh, he throws these flurries, um, and he gets a little bit too aggressive at times. You know, I, I think if he sat bo- back and, and boxed and used his athleticism, and he's a good athlete. If he uses athleticism and his skill, he, he, he would have a lot more success. Um, he's short, he's not. Real good at, at closing distance. Um, he gets hit a lot. He, he can get sloppy. He's quick. He's fast. He's got good speed. But he's just too willing to trade for me, right? And and so what we have is two guys. One guy who loves to trade and another guy who's too willing to trade. The guy who loves to trade has a big pop. The guy who's willing to trade has decent pop. We don't know how really how his chin's going to hold up. We, we haven't seen him in with, with a hitter. Um, both guys have a good gas tank. right? I think both guys get stronger as, as the fight goes on, especially with uh, Jorge Castaneda, but, but with Gonzalez as well. Um, but both guys are easy to hit. So this has got a good fight written all over. Like This is going to be an entertaining fight. But when you have one guy who can hit, one guy who's mediocre hitter, uh, one guy who wants to exchange and, and who's the big hitter and the one guy who's got probably average power is too willing to trade and give up his advantage, which is speed and athleticism. You know, he's a much better athlete, much faster fighter than Castaneda. Castaneda is kind of slow, kind of plotting. You can pick him apart with shots. Um, and I, I don't think that, that that's not really the way Orlando Gonzalez fights. He, he wants to exchange. He, he likes to fight on the inside. Um, and he's just too willing to exchange. And I think that's going to be his downfall. Um, I, I think Castaneda wins the fight. Now, whether it's stoppage or not, it's kind of debate. I'm going to show you how to make money on this fight. All right. Then now it just becomes math. <clears throat> so, uh, on the money line, Castaneda is, is paying 225. So, her bet makes you 225. You walk away 325. Your, your original 100 and the 225 you made on the bet. I'm going to go. Over eight and a half rounds. Um, you can go under eight and a half and take uh, Castaneda win by points, but I, I think this works better. 
I'm going to go over eight and a half rounds. A hundred dollar bet on that, and this is kind of a heads. It's going to make me 30, 33 bucks, basically. So now we're up to two twenty five and thirty bucks, thirty three bucks. So we're at about two thirty five, two forty, right? Now the big bet, and you guys don't have to make this, but I I think it's worth it because it's it's paying five fifty. It's castinated by stoppage. If I have to kind of bet, I would say castinated by points or castinated by late stoppage. If you can get a late stoppage, yeah, it really pays. If not, you're still going to come out ahead, right? If he, if he wins it on points, you're still going to make good money. You, you're going to make, you know, two times your money. So you're still making good money. But I think it's worth, and you don't have to take this, castinated, over, uh, castinated by uh, KO, TKO, DQ. Um, it, it pays... Really good money. A hundred dollar bet's gonna make you five fifty. Uh, if you can get it late in the fight, which I would think it's gonna come, you're, you're cleaning up. You're making well over eight hundred dollars on a three hundred dollar bet. Um, I would make all these one times. I'm not, you know, uber uber confident enough to go two times on any of these. Um, but this is the bet, Castaneda on the over. And if you want, if you want to take a little swing at it, I think a a, a good upside. Downside reward kind of fight is Castaneda. Bet is kind of Castaneda uh, by KO, TKO, and DQ. Uh, I think everything lines up. Like I said, Castaneda's got wins against guys who are more athletic, more athletic than him, who are supposed to be better boxers than him. It hasn't bothered him in the past. And I, I don't think Orlando Gonzalez is going to offer from anything he hasn't seen. I think Orlando Gonzalez, his floor is he's going to fight into Castaneda's hands. So I, I think Castaneda wins the fight. Uh, so I love Castaneda on the money line. Um, I, I would take the over eight and a half. And if you really want to take a swing at it, take a swing at it on uh, Castaneda by, by stoppage. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, just if I wasn't specific, uh, my gut tells me Castaneda is going to win a decision, but he could stop him late. So I, I think, you know, the could stop him late kind of thing is, is kind of worth that bet because it is paying five fifty. I think there's a decent chance that it, it happens. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, the boxing book comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house. Um, it also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, that's Texas Boxing Scene. Oh, it's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. There's a lot of Jorge Castaneda on that. Um, I got some interviews with him. I, I have his last fight on it. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, it is November 29th, 2023. That fight's actually later today. Now it's after midnight from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.